What is the oldest working bug in Minecraft? The oldest working duplication exploit. What about old tricks exploiting bugs we used over 10 years ago now that still work today? Wall hacks? Flying minecarts? 12 year old bugs from Minecraft beta that happen with every step you take. Bugs you can never unsee. Bugs I guarantee that you didn't know existed. Or what about bugs that for almost 11 years now, even Jeb himself couldn't fix? What are the oldest still working Minecraft bugs? Well, I got curious and decided to figure it out. Here's how I did it. Mojang has a website called bugs.mojang.com where players can report bugs. To date, there has been over 260,000 bugs reported for just Minecraft Java, with dozens of new bug reports being made daily. And as it turns out, you can check and see the oldest unresolved bugs dating back over 10 years ago now. So here's a list I've created of the oldest Minecraft bugs that are still not fixed. On October the 24th, 2012, the 14th bug report to the official Mojang website was made. Minecarts that occupy the same space maintain their momentum. Now, to reproduce this bug, you can build a small contraption like this and spam place some minecarts down. You may notice that they start to behave weirdly. Listen to the audio. Now, if you time it right when the minecarts in a position like this, then break this block and boom, the minecarts have infinite momentum and continue going in whatever direction you send them in forever. And I'm not joking, they just keep going with no rails or power. You can even place a block to stop them and then break that block and they will continue moving as normal. They can pick up mobs and sort of change direction as well. This bug has existed since Minecraft 1.4.1 and maybe even earlier, and still exists in 1.20 today. If you're an older Minecraft player, you may remember that there was a special little technique to avoid dying to fall damage in single player worlds, and even on some servers. If you are in a single player or LAN world and are about to fall to your death, if you log out and then log back in, there is a brief few seconds where you take no fall damage and thus won't die. This was the 212th bug reported, also on October the 24th, 2012, and to this day still works. And here's another old bug involving fall damage. If you enter a bed right before you are about to take fall damage, it delays the fall damage until you leave the bed or wake up. But, you know what's even more interesting? Beds actually negate some fall damage, and as you can see, from this height I don't die. But, if I jump from the same height and instead cancel the fall damage by entering a bed, when I wake up, I'll actually die. So you can actually use this bug to take more damage than you are supposed to. Also interestingly, if you are about to take lethal fall damage but delay it by sleeping, you can get a friend or dispenser to throw instant health potions at you while sleeping, which will heal you, and thus the fall damage may no longer be lethal. But that's such an obscure scenario it would be more effort to set up than to just go back and get your items upon dying. Dupe exploits and glitches are pretty famous, whether they are used for inflating servers' economies, getting extreme amounts of rare items on Anarchy servers, or for speedruns, they have a long history in the game. Well, did you know that one of the oldest bugs that still exists also happens to be one of the oldest Minecraft duplication exploits that still works? Now this bug has multiple methods of reproduction depending on the version, but the general gist of it is that due to the player's inventory data and the Minecraft world's region files not being saved to the disk simultaneously, if you happen to, let's say, get some Minecraft items from a chest, save the game to make sure your inventory player data is saved, log back in and then die, but instead crash your game and then rejoin, you may notice that the items in your your inventory have duplicated. This bug is used very often in Minecraft set seed speedruns and has likely happened to every Minecraft player at one stage. Here's an interesting old bug, which didn't actually exist in older versions of the game. In Minecraft 1.2.5, if you rode a minecart track in a circle, this is what would happen. Alright, enough of that, it's making me dizzy. Now let's do the same thing in modern Minecraft or any version from 1.4.2 up. Yep, notice the difference? I bet most of you didn't even know that Minecraft Bug Report 201, reported back in October of 2012, outlined how the player's field of view did not turn or rotate at all when in a minecart. Now, some may argue that this is a good thing, or rather an intended change, but the fact that this bug report is still considered unresolved makes it evident that for over 10 years now, minecarts have been broken. Did you know that you can make a Minecraft world name so long that it exceeds... Hold up a second, let me just add some edits here. Alright, done. Anyways, like I was saying, did you know that you can create a Minecraft world name so long that it exceeds... 
Hold on one second. Anyways, did you know that Minecraft Bug 383, reported on the 25th of October 2012, mentions that you can create a Minecraft save name so long that it exceeds the scroll bar? Did I go out of my way to include this uninteresting but historical bug just to get you to subscribe to my channel? Guess we'll never know. No pressure. Bug 1207, reported on October the 30th, 2012, is one I didn't know existed. You can take damage through glass panes. Now from my testing, I was unable to hit any mobs through the glass panes, but I was able to be hit. Older comments suggest that this bug is actually due to another old bug, Minecraft Bug 2310, which states that the wrong attack radius calculation is used for mob damage through blocks, which, fun fact, is the same reason why you can't have exposed corners when trapping villagers, as otherwise zombies can kill them. Interesting stuff. Now, while mobs may be able to hit you through glass panes, you can get revenge with this strange door bug. As reported by Bug3059, you can shoot mobs and entities through thin walls with a bow. The best way to do this is with doors, and as you can see, as long as the mobs are pressed up right close to the door, they can be shot from long and short distances. But guess what? There's another bug which actually allows zombies to hit you through doors, so don't get too close. If you are an older UHC player, you may know of this next bug. Originally reported back in 2013, if you are in third person with view bobbing enabled, you can see through walls briefly. UHC players would use this exploit to check where caves are underground, and it is still regularly used today. Now here's an old bug I've actually died to in the past. Minecraft Bug 1448, reported the 31st of October 2012, is a particularly spooky bug, where if you walk on a soul sand or mud block right next to lava, you will be set on fire, as if you were standing in the lava itself. You don't even need to sneak over the lava, just getting sort of close makes the game treat you as if you are taking a hot dip. This happens for all entities by the way, not just the player, and it's actually happened to me in the past accidentally, and I'm sure it has to many of you as well. Probably the most unknown bug on this list, and something I didn't even know was a bug, is that the block particles you get when mining, hitting, or running on blocks have apparently been bugged since 2011. As outlined by Minecraft Bug Report 1880, posted on the 2nd of November 2012, block particles use the bottom texture of that block. So for example, when running on or hitting a grass block, you see the bottom dirt texture of the grass block as its block particles. Now, this really confused me at first, as I always assumed this is just how Minecraft was. But if we go back to Minecraft Beta 1.6 and hit some grass blocks, and would you look at that? It's using the correct block particle texture that contains grass. Apparently this bug has existed since Minecraft Beta 1.7.2, which released in July of 2011, making this a nearly 12 year old bug now. There is another similar bug report made around the same time as well, which lists a few more blocks still affected by this bug today. And another similar bug reported not too long after, is that when breaking blocks in creative mode, the block particles which show up upon it being broken, can also sometimes contain block particles from the blocks below it. Really makes you wonder how someone even found these bugs in the first place. Minecraft Bug 2023 is our first ghost block bug. It's easy to replicate using this contraption, which breaks a minecart rail at the same time the block is on is moved. The rail will break and drop, but also remains as a ghost block. An old bug, which I'm sure many players don't want fixed, is Bug 2164, which reports that enderpearls can teleport players inside solid blocks. At this point, this bug may as well be intended behavior, as it's commonly used to glitch into useful areas, such as the top of the nether roof. Or if you are a 2013 factions player, then into other factions bases, but also has resulted in some unfortunate scenarios. And look at that, we have another minecart exploit. As outlined in bug 2714, minecarts are able to pass through non full height blocks like slabs when snapping to rails, just like so. And yes, this works even with entities inside of them, making me wonder if you could make an interesting hidden trap with this bugged mechanic. Here's a bug you'll never be able to unsee. As reported in bug 2836, signs placed on walls float slightly in front of the blocks they have been placed on. Now, the funniest thing about this bug is that it still exists in 1.20 today, and with the new mechanic allowing you to right-click signs and edit them from either front or back, you can actually edit signs from the back through this small gap. Alright, griefers or victims of griefers, you probably have seen this next bug before. If you've ever had a house made primarily out of wood burned down entirely, or decided to set a village alight for fun, you may have realized that there is a selection of blocks which always remain standing when the flames fade away. As outlined in bug 3263, a variety of blocks made from wood such as signs, ladders, doors, trapdoors and more do not burn even when manually set on fire. 
Many of us have just assumed this is how it's meant to be, but guess not, and it's been broken since, well, forever. So at least the village you unleashed your pyromaniac tendencies on will still have some nice quality doors remaining. Have you ever wondered how much XP you can get? Well, technically the max is the integer limit, 2.1 billion. Unsurprisingly, if you exceed this amount, the XP bar simply resets or rolls over all the way back to zero, as reported by bug3266. Now, this bug doesn't really matter that much anyways, as in survival, XP is actually capped at around 20,000. Here's another bug I'm sure many of you thought was a feature. In older versions of Minecraft, if you had a sword with let's say the looting 3 enchantment on it in your hotbar, shot an arrow at a mob with a bow, then switched to the sword while the arrow was still travelling, the looting effect would basically be applied to the arrow you just shot. As reported by Bug3304, certain enchantments from items held in the main hand are applied to other items when entities are killed. This still works in modern Minecraft, in fact it's even easier now as you can hold and shoot the bow from the offhand whilst holding the sword in your main hand. This happens because the game checks the item you're holding only when the mob dies, and since that is the sword, the looting effect is applied. A very stupid but old bug you definitely didn't know is that when in third person, the fishing rod line is not attached to the fishing rod when crouching. If you enable player hitboxes and then watch another player sleep, you may notice that their hitbox becomes tiny, even non-visible from certain angles. As reported in Bug 10919, when players sleep, their hitboxes become minuscule. If you splash a pig with an invis pot while it has a saddle on, the saddle will still be visible. But as reported by Bug 13738, if you do the same with a horse, the saddle becomes invisible as well. Did you know that you can get kicked from your own single player worlds? If you play on a single player world with cheats off, then just spam the chat as fast as you can, you will eventually be kicked for spamming and will actually be redirected to the multiplayer server list rather than the main menu or single player world selection screen. This only happens when cheats are disabled though, as when cheats are enabled, players are granted operator status, similar to a server, and therefore become immune. As reported in Bug 16663, if you kill a mob which is attached to a fence with a lead, the lead will drop but will still be visible on the fence. If you then break the fence, the lead will remain in place for a second before disappearing. If you keep the fence as is though, then provided you don't left click the bug lead by accident, the lead will actually remain on the fence and can be an interesting way of adding small detail to fences in builds. And finally, the oldest bug that still exists in Minecraft reported on the 24th of October 2012, bug number 4, the fourth bug ever reported on the official website. Item drops sometimes appear at the wrong location. Here I've set up a command block which teleports items right onto the corner of it and as you can see, sometimes the items get teleported and will remain on the edge of the command block and other times the items fall through in a continuous loop. It's pretty inconsistent and if I teleport the items over and over, you'll notice they behave pretty randomly. As you can see though, I cannot pick up the items even if I make them move with water or place a hopper under them as this is an entirely visual bug that eventually corrects itself after 10 to 20 seconds. As stated by developer Grum, this bug occurs due to the client predicting where the entity is, whereas the internal server has it at a different location, thus sometimes causing this weird rubber banding. Twice by official developers, even once by Jeb himself, this bug was stated to be fixed and multiple devs have weighed in on a potential solution, but alas, here we are, almost 11 years later, and the bug still exists and may never be fixed. Let me know of any older or interesting bugs you know in the comments. Be sure to subscribe and join my Discord. Thank you all so much for watching.